Confused about the cosmos? Can't tell a planet from a star? Then give us just five minutes and we'll show you what they are. Jack Horkheimer, Stargazer, tells you all about the night sky and the biggest show of all, the universe. And now, this week's episode. Find the false dawn of Over Kayam the last two weeks of this September. Greetings, greetings, fellow stargazers. Almost a thousand years ago, the Persian poet Omar Khayyam, in his book of poetry, The Rubaiyat, wrote his most famous line. A jug of wine, a loaf of bread, and thou beside me, singing in the wilderness. But elsewhere in the Rubaiyat, Omar made a poetic allusion to a mysterious false dawn, as opposed to the real dawn, which can only be seen at a certain time of year. And this year, the first two weeks of this September, are your best chances to see it for 2010. Because there will be no bright moonlight to overpower this delicate astronomical phenomenon. Let me tell you all about it and what you have to do to find it. Okay, if we could go way out into space and look down on our solar system with superhuman vision, we would notice a faint, almost imperceptible, vast cloud extending outward from the sun in the plane of the orbits of Mercury, Venus, Earth, and slightly beyond. An enormous cloud of cosmic dust. And while one would expect it would be impossible to see this super faint cloud from Earth, Nevertheless, in September, when the plane of our Earth's orbit is almost vertical to the horizon, we can, under the right conditions. And those conditions require that there is no moonlight out and that you must be far away from city lights because even the faintest moonlight or urban lighting will wipe out this extremely delicate ethereal glow of the false dawn. As a general rule, if you can see the Milky Way from where you're observing, you'll have a good chance to see it. To find it, look toward the east about two hours before sunrise, before the real dawn. It will look like a, a wedge or cone-shaped dim patch of light, about the same brightness as the Milky Way. And it will extend from the horizon about one-third to halfway up to the zenith, a ghostly, faintly glowing, rounded pyramid of light. Now, the scientific name of this phenomenon is the zodiacal light, and it's caused by sunlight scattering from all those trillions and trillions of dust particles which make up the great cosmic cloud. And although Omar didn't mention it, this false dawn also has an evening counterpart, the false dusk, the evening zodiacal light, which looks pretty much the same except that it is visible two hours after sunset in the west in March, when the plane of our Earth's orbit is also almost vertical to the horizon. Additionally, if you ever see a similar shaped oval glow directly overhead at midnight, you would be seeing the zodiacal light's sister phenomenon called the Gegenschein, or counterglow. And I wonder whether any poet ever wrote about that. At any rate, remember that September is the month to see the false dawn of Omar Khayyam, the morning zodiacal light, which I admit is very elusive. But once you've found it, I think you'll know why it appeared in poetry centuries before it appeared in scientific writings. So. Get the outside before dawn during the last two weeks of this month. Be sure you're far away from city lights and see if you are as inspired as an ancient poet. Keep looking up. Make the Stars Your Own is available on DVD or VHS for $19.95.